guys, we're out here in Highland Park. We're going to check a couple of houses out. We're going to walk down the neighborhood and we're going to see some of the houses that compared to the French chateaus. So let's go. Before we get into it, we're going to show you a couple of cool things about Dallas. The Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex is home to 23 of the richest Americans and it's growing. Dallas is also known for its arts, museums, music, food and churches per capita. Texas is also home to 21 of the Fortune 500 companies and recently a few more have been coming our way but really it's known more for the horses and cowboy lifestyle that we used to have and that's more in the Fort Worth area but we're in the Dallas area. The Dallas Arts District is the largest urban arts district in the United States. So say that 10 times fast and see how you go. It took me all day to practice. So Highland Park Village uh, Shopping Center was developed in 1931. It was the first uh, planned shopping center in the United States. So this is a cool fact because we're gonna be showing you around Highland Park next. So right by us, we've got the Trinity River Park, which is gonna be 10 times the size of New York's Central Park. So those are the facts about our city. So now we're going to walk you through Highland Park and compare it to the houses in France, what you can get for the same type of money. So stick around. This one looks pretty French. You can see here, this one looks like a school, like a commercial property. So in Highland Park, there's a lot of diversity in the architecture. You're going to notice that from house to house as we go along. This is a typical American home. This house here that Jaden points out, it's 1.3. It was sold in 1991, the last time, but it's currently around $3.3 million. In France, you can get a similar house, around that kind of money, you're gonna get 32 hectares, 10 baths, 20 bedrooms, a pond, you know, extensive trees and forests, areas uh, that you can use for entertaining. So it's a, it's a better deal than the uh, Highland Park one. Wow, check out this one. This one we're gonna look online. It's a great new one, it's available. Okay, after we went home, we checked out this one. It's uh, 8,000 square feet. It's $11 million. You can get a gigantic castle for that in France. We're going to show you now that uh, the interior is all contemporary. It's not what we're looking for. We're looking for the old traditional stuff, but it does have a nice pool. But then again, can you justify $11 million when you can buy this in France? You know, half of the price. You get park lands. Once again, you get a lot of history. The turrets on the building, it's just a gorgeous location, great for entertaining. You've got a courtyard, there's uh, vaulted ceilings, you know, medieval style. Uh, that's basically what we want. Uh, there's also a, a chapel that's built on the property. We're not going to get that for $11 million down here in Dallas. And you can see there's gorgeous pictures throughout. Really like that place, that's one of our favorites. So this one we're coming up to now, it's uh, over $4 million, but it's under 7,000 square feet. It has got hardwood floors, very popular thing that we do out here in Texas, just like the ones in uh, Europe, but the problem is, is that uh, they don't have a history. The floors in Europe, they have a lot of history. Imagine kings and queens walking through those, you know, back in the 19th century, something that we don't have out here. Look at what you can get for the same money. It's just astronomical. You can never reproduce this. This house has got a lot of history, tapestries, uh, artwork, just, just a nice place to be sitting in, relaxing, taking it easy, just by the fire. 
as you can see in this one it just flows really nice it's got traditional furniture you know the artwork it's just really nice and it's on the top of our list so on this one also i just love the kitchen i can just see myself sitting down with a cup of coffee you know and a, and a biscuit uh, just reading the paper also uh, the landscape is great it's got a swimming pool in it uh, probably add a tennis court there just for a bit of uh, diversity since we like to play tennis and we'll show you a little clip so with this one you even get beautiful gardens that are already established you get a uh, stable for horses that we'd really like to have as well and um, so much value with this one <laughs> this next one that we're walking up to is not actually for sale it's uh, roughly estimated about 5.5 million dollars it's one of our favorites uh, here in Dallas because of the design it's got that French character to it so this next one to compare to is actually $2 million more, but you know, it's a huge dramatic change. Uh, it's something that you can't replicate. We just wanted to give you the wow effect. Not only that, you get your own vineyard on the land, which produces its wine for the chateau, which is another source of income. So we know from the comments that uh, it's gonna be a, an expensive long journey, but we're excited to do it. So stick around. So guys, I hope you liked the video and uh, make sure you like and subscribe and leave those comments. And from Pippa and me, bye bye. <laughs>